you know, this is a really exciting race for us because it's our hometown. Um, I grew up down here at Lake of the Ozarks. I'm from St. Louis, but we've always been down here, so it's really cool to have kind of like our hometown backyard race. Um, this is the second one of the season, second race of all time for me. Um, so it's really special to have a lot of our friends and family and team members and everything here. So um, the boat's built by MTI, and it's cool because since uh, we have such a big following down here with MTI, we were able to actually do a lunch run with our customers today. So not only do we have the races, we have our customers coming in town. And so it's great to see kind of everything come together for this weekend. Our history really started with the race boats and kind of grew into the pleasure boats. And that's really obviously what we sell more of to today uh, but it's cool to get back in the racing my dad raced for my whole lifetime retired two years ago from racing so it's really cool to follow in that family legacy and be able to take that over now How about the boat uh, Travis Yates we race out of Richmond Texas these are the uh, Texas tri holes, also known as super stock tri holes. They are uh, about 16 foot. They're they're based off of the old glass trons. Uh, we've got 140, 115, or 140 horsepower motors that you can do whatever you want to. Um, it's a claiming class, so guys can, can soup the motors up, but also somebody can come in and claim the motor from you. So it keeps it kind of a level playing field. Um, they're, they're a good way to get into boat racing if that's kind of what you're looking to do. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Uh, I, I just caught my eye. I've been walking down here, and you don't see this down here because we got a pretty big water here, you know, at the yeah. lake. Yeah, um, so it's kind of most of the guys out of it's where it started. Uh, actually, good buddies of mine made this class up, developed it, and now it travels with our whole series all over the country. Uh, they're kind of bumper boats on the water, and they're really a crowd, a crowd pleaser because once you watch these things run, it's it's action-packed and it's it's a great time. And like you said, it's a real probably easy way to get in the boat and see if it's something you want to do. And it, it's a lot of guys. Me myself, I drive a Formula One boat now, but I started in a tri hole, and my stepson now drives drives a tri hole with the with the hopes of one day driving a Formula One as well. Nice. Is that one of your boats over there? Can you tell us a little bit about this and just how, you know how, how you're doing in the series? Yeah. Well, it's it's just getting going again. This will be our our third race second event because we, we ran a double header at the first one because of with all the code restrictions our our, our schedule has been condensed but uh we're, we're doing well we're, we're kind of this is our first year in this boat learning it pretty well get, getting up getting up there trying to get fast compete with some of the better guys but we're uh we're still work in progress right now uh these boats are known for uh their sharp turns very sharp turns you guys yeah. are pulling several G's in there. Can you, yeah. you talk about that a little bit? So we're uh, we're we're the fastest turning boats in the world. Is, is our kind of our claim to fame. So we're we're about 120 miles an hour, and then we turn left. So it, when the conditions are right, we never get out of the throttle. It's all trend and set the boat and rip it through the turn and, and keep going back the other direction. Can you talk about what what's going on? Uh, are you running outboards? Uh, just kind of. I mean, <laughs> that's that's pretty intense. Yeah. So it's. When, you know, when I used to race the tri hole, people would ask me, uh, for one year I actually raced both classes at the same time, and I'd get the question of, man, uh, which which one's harder? What, how do you do it? What's wearing you out? Kind of uh, what I would go back to is the tri hole wears you out physically. These things wear you out mentally because you've got a lot going on. You've got to watch, you got to read water, you got to watch what's going on in front of you. We're working trim, throttle, all that, all at the same time while dealing with, you know, up to 20 or 30 other boats on the water at the same time. So it, it's very stressful, but enjoy enjoyful at the same time. Can you talk a little about what's going on? What you have all in there? Like uh, you're steering with your hands or your yeah. feet trim. So, where's so the way my boat's set up? I've got a foot trim, which is my out. Uh, the boats run. We run 12 volts on the in, 24 volts on the out. So we trim out to, to pack air and lift the nose of the boat and gain speed. And then as we're coming into the turn, we trim in to set the boat in the water and make it through the turn. Um, so I trim out on my left foot, throttles on my right foot. I've got switches on the steering wheel for up and down. The motor has a small jack plate for up and down, and also the end trim. Those jack plates is kind of new to, no, no, to the sport? A, or no, no had we've had them forever. They're only about seven eighths of an inch, but it makes a big difference on on how you can run the boat. Yeah, being able to shift it kind of quick on the on the fly kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, we've also got radios. So we've got radio men on the shore that are talking to us that kind of tell us the things that are going on that we can't see. Very cool. Anything else you want to say? Or anything? It's a great time. I hope I hope people come out and watch it. Uh, love to see as many fans on the shore as possible.